you come any time of day, you get to see the crocodiles, you get to see turtles laying eggs, you get to see all those birds fishing. Yeah, that seems like the tricky thing is sometimes the best thing you can do for a place is to stay out of it. So most of us have heard of ecotourism, but the term itself can feel like a little bit of an oxymoron. If a place is so beautiful and unique to begin with, is there a way to come as a tourist without somehow disrupting the environment that made it so special? We are here today in Nosara, Costa Rica, which is obviously very beautiful. Costa Rica itself is home to 5% of the entire planet's biodiversity, so it's been at the center of this ecotourism trend for the past two decades or so. Today, we're trying to find out how and if you can even visit a place like this as an outsider without somehow messing the entire thing up. Before you book your trip, do some research. Is tourism helping fund local sustainability efforts or contributing to development that's trampling the local environment? Does a company advertise itself as eco-friendly? And if it does, what practices does it use to back up those claims? And has the local government expressed a commitment to environmental preservation and launched programs that are working towards that goal? Work with a local guide or company. No one will understand and be invested in an area like a person who actually lives there. I found Rio, whose family has lived in this area for 300 years, so he knows what he's talking about. It's, it's important to get to know the right people. You have to get to know the locals, what they think of you as a foreigner and what they expect from you, respecting, right? If you respect the environment, if you respect what they believe in, then everything should be in harmony. When you visit a place this incredible, you might start daydreaming about a vacation house so you can visit all the time. But construction and empty houses are the last thing that a delicate ecosystem needs. In the beginning, people come to this area, falls in love with the place. They see the monkeys hanging up in the, in the trees. And then the next thing they know when they come and buy is that they tear down the same tree they saw the monkey in order to make a house. So that is the kind of things that we locals try to avoid and hopefully try to make the foreigners, the people who come and live here, to understand. What are some of the first things that you tell tourists or foreigners when they're visiting about how to respect nature, how to interact with the animals, how to respect local culture? One of those are related to the shells on a, on a beach. We no longer allow the people to collect shells and that is also being reinforced by the same government. The shells are going to be reused over and over for the hermit crabs and other animals. Instead of that, just collect, your tra collect trash and mm -hmm. bring it back to the place you are at instead of just picking up the shells. Common mistakes are grabbing branches. We still have snakes on the, on the trees. We still have, my major concern, very little nests sitting on the trees where people can sometimes just grab and suddenly let go and then they catapult those little nests. Mm -hmm. So do not touch anything. Keep on your path. Keep going on your trail. And as much as possible, you know, if you have a question, do not manipulate animals or wildlife. Just let them be. I wonder about this particularly with regards to the animals. I feel like anytime someone comes to a place like this, they want to have their like little selfie with the sloth for their new profile picture. What do you tell people to do? Should they be taking pictures with the animals? Should they just be hanging back? Not feeding them ever, right? The animals should not be fed. It should not be taken by people. It should not be pets. The animals should just be animals in the wild. And luckily for us, we have so much wild here. Just let them be. Costa Rica is setting a global example. 99% of their electricity comes from renewable resources, and the country announced plans to go carbon neutral by 2050, which means the government, citizens, and tourists need to be conscious of every choice they make. Why do you think people here are so environmentally focused? Well, we see the importance of preserving the place because it's the main reason why people come here. You know, Nosada will be nothing without tourism. This mm -hmm. is the truth. You know, we don't have another source. And we invite the people to come from, from outside to be part of it. That is a magical connection right there. If you do your research, it can be possible to visit a place responsibly and even help fund local preservation efforts. Ask questions and actually listen to the answers. Be respectful and remember that you're responsible for what you leave behind. For more travel hacks from around the world and from Costa Rica specifically, like and subscribe to Lifehacker on YouTube.